Hello and welcome back artists and designers. This is the second video here to show you how we can create the vines from our sketch with some really nice clean outlines using Illustrator. So let's dive in here. I went ahead and placed my uh, sketch on a new layer in Illustrator, lock that out. I'm going to make one more new layer and this is a 9 by 12 document. I'm going to use the pencil tool for this. So I'm going to click on my pencil tool right here and I'm going to double click and what I want to do is I'm going to bring the smoothing all the way up to 100%. I'm going to uncheck the keep selected feature and I also don't want to have new pencil strokes filled because I'm going to use strokes and I'm going to leave it at that I think. I could do this one alt key toggles the smooth tool but you do have to keep it selected in order to do that so I don't think that'll be much help here. So once we do that I'm just going to start with a uh, pencil line. I'm going to start off my canvas so that I can get a nice good curve to this. And I'm just going to simply draw through pretty much the middle of my line. Now that went in pretty thick right off the bat. Um, I don't know why it went that thick, but I could reduce that down to just a small pencil line. So the first thing I'm going to do is maybe clean up this um, clean this up a little bit before I start messing too much with it. So I might grab like this anchor point, kind of drag this down here and just try to get my line essentially centered. Although, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly uh, where your initial sketch was. If you want to change it a little bit, that's totally fine. So I'm going to leave it like that. That looks pretty good. And I am now, here's the beauty is I can take the width tool and adjust the width I'm going to select this whole line again, and here's the width tool right here, width tool. And then all I have to do with this is just grab this, oops, and let's try this one more time because it works best if you have the whole thing selected. So width tool, and now I'm going to go here and just say, all right, I want this whole thing to be about that wide. Okay, now I know I want it to be a little thinner right here, so I'm going to go over here, kind of thin it back out. I want it to be a little bit wider again here. Let's just go up to this anchor point. Kind of bring that a little bit wider. And so you can adjust on any of these anchor points or any of the individual areas on this. You can start making it wider or thinner based on this width tool. So it's really easy to adjust and you're going to get perfectly clean, smooth lines and you still have the ability to go back and adjust any of those and you know, make anything be the way that you want it. So if I want to curve this a little bit more, you know, or grab this anchor point, just move this off of here, adjust this handle. Like there's nothing stopping you from going and making some of those adjustments after the fact. So this is really easy to go in and get it to be uh, nice, clean, perfect curves that we can then export into Photoshop. So just to repeat that process, um, pencil tool, double click, Make sure the smoothing is all the way up and we'll go ahead and I could do this on a new layer if I wanted to. Um, that way it might be easier in Photoshop when we export. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a different color. So let's just pick something else. Green, that works. Sure. And I'm going to do the same thing on this new layer. This is green on a green layer. So let's pick something different. How about uh, this pink color? Sure. All right. So I'm going to do this one and again. Nice smooth curve. Bring this guy back around over here. All the way off the edge of the paper. And there we go. And now I'm just going to grab the width tool. And again, I'm going to go in here. Widen that out right here. And make it a little bit wider right there. See it's thinning out the back end. Just there we go. Let's keep it a little bit thinner right here and then widen this back out over here. And if you need to move one of these, you can drag it in the middle, adjust it, and move that around. So this is a really great way uh, to get those nice smooth curves and clean lines. And then we'll essentially be able to take everything that we have here. We can either copy and paste it directly as a smart object into Photoshop or export our layers and get that dropped in there really easily. So that is method two. Um, I think that would make your life really easy if you just have to kind of trace over your initial lines and then grab that width tool, make them thicker and thinner as you need it. All right, I'll see you in the next video and good luck.